I've been meaning to tell you something, though. Mm-hmm. This is in reference to me leaving my charger last week. Okay. How many times have I done that? Done what? that or something Just like left that? Something. Or something to that degree. Every time you're here. What about y'all's house? Not How often do I leave stuff at y'all's house? You what? left the charger once. All right. Yeah, I'm convinced now. Thank you. I wasn't convinced before. Thank you. What? I wasn't convinced that's, that's before. What I want, that's what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. I've been convinced, convinced for some years now. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. That doesn't believe. correlate. <laughs> <laughs> that that's not a oh, good correlation. I'm, oh, no. It's I'm not. That's why I was like, it's not comparing the same thing. Yeah. It's the a same person. Let me go like, you yeah, know I'm how important a wallet is, especially for a man. Like, that's your life, ain't it? You got your, how you gonna pay for shit? How you gonna, if you get He's not thinking. What? Like, how you feel about quarters? Absent minded. Like, how you feel about having five quarters? Sometimes I be absent minded, (laughs) bro. Like, but it's not that I remember the quarters. I just, when I'm done with it, I put them. First of all, I've now policed myself against the wallet thing. I just leave my wallet in the car. You can't do that, man. Okay, all right, fine. One bad thing will happen to me that one time. And then you change versus, it. No. Versus never a it. dozen bad things well, happening to you. Well, now you can just use I have to police myself. Now you can just put your card on your phone. So yeah, you don't even do that. really need so it. Well, that's the other thing. I can cash app now. Cash now. You do as long phone. as I'm not you by myself. Cash it doesn't matter now. Yeah. Yeah. Tap your phone. Right, there's so many other ways I can do things. So Now. But back in the day, there was literally no excuse. There was no excuse. I used to do that yeah, that yeah, that's crazy. But yeah, the crazy thing is, did y'all taste like a snicker do a little bit, yo? I do it because Which they continue to put I don't fucking know, yo. <laughs> so, no, that wouldn't it matter. Might be the caramel. You would have still if they was like, we ain't sorry. You we think they were the problem? The problem had nothing to do with them. No, it, no, it wasn't a discipline thing either. It was literally just an absent. I wasn't absent minded. And then I'm smoking. But right what I'm saying is, you wouldn't have been so absent minded if they been like. I disagree. I would have just missed out. And I would have just missed, like, and that would have worked for, like, two weeks. And then, I, like, once I would have, right. So what was the conversation? Would you order your food and then realize that you didn't have a way to You would pay? have to ask them, to be honest with you. Or nah, would you? It'd be when it's time. Time to pay. Like, <laughs> so he would eat and yeah. enjoy it. Hey, we have a good time. We have a great night. And then all of a sudden, it'd be like. So like, oh, you, like, that's something y'all, y'all not going to believe this. Before, before I leave, you know what I mean? Y'all not going to believe this. Say it again, Gary. I'm laughing there. Right now, for real, though. For real. There's some things I'm checking for, you know, like before I get out the car or before I order, you know, like if I'm not sure how much is in my bank account. I actually left my wallet one time, you know. Oh, when we went out with you guys. What's that, man? What was that? Oh, yeah, that did happen one time with the. She left her wallet and I left my wallet. I didn't have mine. We were at that job right there. I don't remember that. It happened. That happened one time. <laughs> it, happened. It, happened. it was years ago. <laughs> we went out to dinner. Uh, I want to say. It was like it, your birthday. What's that little soul food on the beach? It was like, happy, happy birthday. 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 Happy Nah, man, it's a big restaurant. Like Eatonville or eat, Eatonville. eat, 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 eat uh, something like that. Eaton, Eatonville, some shit like that. Eatonville, that was on 14th Street. Mm. Yeah, on 14th Street. Yeah, yeah that's that's like oh, that. it was her birthday. Yeah. It was your yeah, birthday. Yeah, because uh, we wasn't the only one. Oh, Renee was there. No, it was a lot of birthdays. I do remember that. Yeah, yeah. So I went to the car. I do car. remember that. Yeah. Yeah. I could not believe yeah. that happened. Because uh, I knew I had left my wallet. I didn't yeah, know she you was like, were. she left her wallet on the way there. I'm thinking to myself, like, oh, yeah, you good, girl. You ain't got to worry about that. On the way there, I told him. I'm like, I don't have. Because somebody else said something to me. Like, somebody else pulled me to the side. It was like, did What's they do that on purpose? You think that? And I was Who like, does that on purpose? I was like, nah. People don't do that shit on purpose. No, no, no. <laughs> that literally happened to us. I said, no, we <laughs> got a friend <laughs> that does that on the side. Who would be the one? Not you. That them. literally happened to us once. I'm trying to remember who asked you. So you know what happens to me now, though, in lieu of that? I go to stores. I get to cash registers. And I don't have my wallet. And I'm like, oh. It's okay. I'll just have to get back in the back of the line, but at least I can still get my, because I know my wallet's in my car. All I got to do 
excuse me, Mr. But can you just leave? Oh, this rather stuff? than it being at home, or just being, or just me being asked out. I'm like, oh, you know what? It's cool. I've had to had to somebody make my smoothie again. No, we'll, we'll take my order again in the back. I was like, it's cool. It's fine. If this is my fault, and I will just go get my wallet out of the car. That's what happens to me now. So That's crazy. What about your keys? See, I can't go nowhere without my keys. So let me ask you this. That's Where why, do you keep your keys, and why don't you just keep your, your wallet, wallet by your keys? So that you just grab both of them and put them in your pocket. No, it's two different pockets. See, that's what I, I keep. Whatever I know I have to have, nah, it's two I keep them together. So No matter what. When I take them out, I put them together. I put my, my house keys and my that, car keys on the right same thing. Thing. Oh, I don't understand people who do two different keys. I don't do no, that. I don't do that. I, that keep shit it all right together. That I would either be locked out or I wouldn't have my it's car. Like the, just keep your wallet with your keys. It doesn't work like that. Because my keys are never with my watch. I have to put my keys in a certain place so I never forget them. You might want to consider a purse. What's that? Ain't a, no man, man purse. a man purse yeah, because... That way you'll just grab that. Yes. That's not a bad idea. A it's murse. just a matter of whether or not you want to go well, down that carry road. It. Well, I'm going to carry it. Well, you can get a backpack. Actually, yeah, he uses a backpack. I do that when I... It's funny, I do that when I travel. When I, I got travel, a fanny pack I was going to use. I was yeah. like, man, I don't want to use this. It's not as good as that last shit, man. It's not. No, I don't like this shit. I don't know, man. Well, I must have been. I told you don't go down the same. You got it. was pretty smooth to me. I don't know. Maybe it's because I've been eating them damn sugar cookies over there. Man. Oh, yeah. That's, a, that's what it is. That's probably fucking me all I up called, right there. Let man. me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Sorry. I, no, I, I, joke, I went to go pick up friends to go to the casino recently. Fourth of July last year. To go pick up friends to go to the casino. Like, yo, we're going to watch the fireworks. We're going to go. We're going to go. We're going to gamble. We're going to go spend some money. Are we clipping these? Get to the door. Yeah, yeah, and I'm like, oh, damn. I don't even have my ID. Yeah, yeah. What do we need another one for? Like, you know what I'm saying? Another what? Drink? <clears throat> Host? Another mic. Mic. I do have another one. You don't want me to have it. You got to go get the little. Come on then, Tiffany. I feel thingy. bad with you sitting over there by yourself. I was gonna, if I had something to say, I was going to say it into the mic and not yell. You got to get the dongle thingy. Out the, out the car. Out the road. Out the road. Out the road. Out the road. I know, know we're here, office. right? <laughs> <laughs> and the thing, you know that the thing we use? Open, <laughs> the black case open. The mic yeah, is right funny. there. Mm-hmm. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah, but speaking of our little 26 yeah. followers. Yeah. One, we got to get them joints up. I've been job slagging in that. Yeah. So y'all talking about what we going to do? Oh. But... Them 26 followers are consistent. Listen, they be, I be having some people hitting me up. Really? Like, hey, where the show at? Right. For real? Or like our off week. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had, uh, like, the last, over the last, say, week and a half, uh-huh. I'd have had about three people like, all right, when the next show? And I'm like, oh, really? We just yeah. did one. That, I saw that already. Oh, they want to Come on. Some more content. Oh, man, we're going to record every two weeks. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Y'all need to pick that shit up. Come on. Yeah. I was like that. All right, dude. Well, tell some more people. Shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> tell some more people. Tell some more people. We get up to 50. We- <laughs> right. Right. My father was a We doubling up more followers. We doubling up more followers. He was talking to my brother. My brother. Well, yeah, I got to check the next one. Yeah, they be, they be talking about some good stuff on there. Some good stuff on there. That's good. Okay. I told you my dad is a, a viewer. <laughs> hey, is Raquette one? I don't know. I don't know either, bro. I don't know. I feel like she'd be watching the show now. Because really? Because I, I put her on, you know? Oh, oh good, I good. I Y'all, so I don't know uh, in the news, like, what's been going on besides election stuff. I swear, I'm ready for this election to be oh, done. Like... I- I am. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like people will be like, you have to vote for the less of two evils. But at the mm-hmm. end of the day, it's still oh, evil. evil. evil yeah. <laughs> so you're yeah. still okay yeah. with voting for evil. People be so, ready to die behind it, too. They man. do. People been wrong. breaking up. I mean, not like relationships, but like friendships. I believe it. Like, oh, I'm a, I'm deleting all my friends. Like, <laughs> because of how they're voting or because they're not voting? Both. Both. Right. Both. If, if you don't want to vote because black people died, uh, if you are voting for Trump, I'm going to You're ignorant me. because you're not voting. Yeah, yeah. So what it is is those people are probably more mad that because, you know, they say, well, anybody who don't vote is a vote for Trump. 
It's That's making it. people so I think Trump emotional. Will lose this jump, to be honest. I so which too. I did not think originally. I, I did not. I thought. I thought Trump. I thought Trump, Trump I was definitely. I don't know. Up. I don't mm-hmm. know. I feel like there's so many people who support Trump that you might not expect. That's what I and I'm not just talking about that. myself because I'm not. Uh, no, no, no. I'm not a Trump supporter. <laughs> you want to get, you you really get us unfollowed by no, all but, the six people? <laughs> 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 I'm not a Trump supporter. Right. But I have. always say nah. I don't know wow, how I'm going to vote. But the, to be honest, oh, like the black woman in me will probably end up voting for. Joe Biden, although I don't want to, like I wouldn't do it. I would only really do it because she's a Howard Gray. I'm about to say, speaking of Joe Biden, I love dog no, Kamala. That was my first time, like actually, like sitting down, paying attention to Kamala and like watching Kamala. Her, you know, Kamala. Kamala, she's Indian too. That's another Native American. American Indian. Indian. Where, where was this? Where did you like, no, Indian she is, or, she's uh, from Asian, India. Like red dot Indian. Uh, I don't India. know if that's uh, appropriate. Opinion. I don't know if I should. Red dot is fine. That's they do. It's a part of their custom. I don't but know. I'm sure I there's a more a less East Indian. It's East Indian. East Indian. Thank Boom. you. We'll go India, the country. Yeah, thank you. From India. Atlanta. This is why I can't Just put you on my though. dang one page. You talking about man? some Red West dot huh? Indian, Red dot Indian? My boss is on this. I said, I said, who is Indian? East Indian. No, but she's a follower on Facebook. I can't be putting that out there. Oh, you don't want to expose that you hang with heathens. Well, listen, I can't the control rest? the views of anybody on this show. The views expressed by there me. There you go. Know. <laughs> you know. you know. you know. I did not say that. She didn't say that. I she, said she I'm said not just talking problem. about myself right. because I said that I wasn't. Um, she going to vote for Trump. I don't. No, no, no. You, you know. didn't low key say you was a supporter. I'm, listen, I said I'm on the fence. I said that the last three years. Why are you on the fence? You was scared. I said I'll probably end up voting for Kamala because she's a high where, where is the, Nothing more. That's why you're going to vote for Kamala? Well, that's why I voted for Obama because he was black. I mean, I'm you not. black. I'm not and ashamed you, to say you that. Felt, you, you felt good about that vote? Yeah, that's right. Didn't your ass vote for Obama? No, I'm talking about now. You feel good about that well, vote now? I was like, no, but you got to do But you're going to redo this? You're going to make the same mistake hey, twice? I would, Listen, I would yes. vote for Obama again. Shame on it's, it's not a shame mistake. It's still evil. It's whatever hey, you're voting for. Y'all see that the New York Post got uh, uh, suspended on Twitter for uh, having an article and posting links to the article about Joe Biden's son? Like, oh, Wait, about the what? one that got kicked out the military. Yeah, 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 about Hunter. It was Biden. articles about that. The New yeah, York they posted. Post he wrote it, and then they was tweeting the links to the article, and they got banned. Not, not banned, but now, they said that was, in order to flagged. unlock your account, mm-hmm. you have to um, start uh, remove those tweets about this article. Oh. Well, you know, I'm another like, thing. Why the campaign so hard for Biden right now, man? Because they want him to win. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Hello. Yeah, they're censoring. And why they want him to win? That they censoring people because a lot of people's tweets, uh, people was like, "Hey, y'all notice that uh, y'all accounts getting suspended for for tweeting about uh, anti you know? Obama? I mean Biden, a- anti Biden shit." But man. you know what? With that wow, Hunter thing, that's crazy. a lot of he is appealing to because so many people are or have relatives or are have uh, substance abuse issues. He's really by Trump putting that out there, they're spinning it, so it's so starting it's to. It's helping. It's appealing to those uh, parents that have kids struggling with drugs. Mm. Uh, you that's, know. Middle, that's all of middle America. Middle mm. America, white, middle America. Yeah, yeah. That's so, anybody, I could be anybody. So, I know, no, it could be, but I'm saying yeah. the majority now. Facts. And I'm referencing how point. in the mm. 80s when mm. black people were going through that heavy. Nobody cared. No one cared. And it's like keep your children away and stay, yeah. out, and stay out of those neighborhoods. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah, facts. But I will say regarding this, this has been, <laughs> this is the funniest meme. Y'all, I've seen so many fly memes, but this one is close to my heart. Please show put it, it in to the me. Chat. Put it in the chat. I'll put it in the chat. Oh, with the fly? The Not fly. just the fly. The fly but the, the iPhone, though, yeah. Hey, oh, because he a, a zombie? No, because we, if you look close, his eye was red. And there was a whole, like, the um, the analysts were talking about it. They were like, oh, yeah, that could be a symptom of COVID, you know? Oh, wow. <laughs> so, I thought that was so funny. It's not so much funny two weeks later, but it was hilarious when I saw it. <laughs> first. Did y'all see where Nick Saban tested positive and then three Twice. days later tested yeah, negative? Yeah, yeah. 
But that's how that. And that's then how test those, it negative again. That's how those tests work. That's how. Yeah, it works like Did that. Did y'all see? Uh, I don't like, think it's a virus. Yes. Oh, John, hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. We got to stop here. We got to stop here. You don't think that Corona is real? I don't. Damn. <laughs> wait, you think that... He it's sat there and thought about it. Let me say this. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. What valid, substantial evidence do you personally have to say, yeah, the coronavirus is a real thing? I don't have it. He almost died. Do you have evidence that the coronavirus is the cause of that? I don't know what, but that, that's what his doctor said. The doctors that work for these the oh, hold on, big hold pharma. On. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let yeah. me just say, let me just tell you something, nigga. That's what they said. So what do you it, think hold on, hold on, dying from? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, kid. Motherfuckers die every day. What do you say? Niggas die every day. Niggas die every day. Hey, John. What's just, John, just let me just tell you that clip. This got to be. This ain't gonna be monetized. If this is true, you know how many people got to be in on this. Oh, there's a lot of people in on this. Nigga, you know how many people have to be in. You sound like the people who think that the earth is flat. The earth right. ain't flat. It's like, oh, I've never it's said the right. earth was flat. I'm just saying, know. though, you know how many people you have You always have this. extreme ideas and thoughts. That, that is probably well, first one of, of all, them. COVID exists. The ni- COVID-19 is not the first version of COVID. Of COVID. I, not just, okay, okay, that's okay, fine. So you can't say it doesn't exist. The problem is that none of us sitting here have any substantial evidence of this. This is going off of something what that's been be told to us. For you? Do you have evidence of a flu? What would okay, be so evidence for you? Do you have evidence of the flu? Wait a minute. But you catch it. Wait a minute. I don't catch it. Rel- Listen. What if I know somebody that works and tests this sort of stuff? Mm-hmm. That would be prime evidence, wouldn't it? Don't you know somebody? Well, I know somebody. Who- I do. I do too. You do? I do. Okay. And they've, they they've saying? yet to confirm any of this. Really? That's what I'm saying. Confirm any of what? Nobody knows for real. All I'm saying, or the point that I wanted to make is that nobody really knows, and I think they're going to use that to push the vaccine. Well, they're going to have to. I do think they are rushing no, people I think they who are normally now. sick. I think, oh, yes, I think, think No, I think. So, my, hold on. My aunt told me today her in law um, was sick, and he's to the point where it might be close to the end for him. But what rang it? my, uh, what caught my attention was she was like, yeah. Uh, he was having trouble breathing, so they took him to the COVID unit. It was like, well. That's what I'm saying. So they're going to take everybody that has trouble, trouble breathing. breathing. What if I'm asthmatic? Yeah. What if I'm just fat and just, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, I got trouble. all of my arteries and organs yeah. have fat around them, and it's bound for me to have bad health. Yeah. Bad. I'm going to go automatically go to Corona, the yeah. Corona ward. That's dumb to me. Here's the thing, Jonathan. <laughs> now, you onto something. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and say... You 100% wrong. I'm not 100% right. You're not 100% right either. It's just a thought. You know what I'm saying? Now, COVID does exist because they actually created this shit. There's a patent for it. There's a patent for it. So it exists. Is it the boogeyman like they say it is? No, it's not really the boogeyman. But they hype it up the same way they hype up ISIS to be the boogeyman. You don't hear shit about ISIS no more. No, let me tell you something. The thing that makes is the new ISIS. No, the thing that the thing thing that that makes be like, oh shit, we got to do something about this. We got to support everybody. The fact that you, the fact that people who get COVID, that's a fact. What? I wish I could tell y'all why that's a fact, but that is a fact. I will tell y'all when this is over. Okay, maybe, maybe not. But the fact that they allow nah, people to that's just real talk, that's what live I'm trying their to say, lives <laughs> and do things normally. <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. With COVID, like, you know, uh, when, when, when the athletes man, are getting went it, from they not, no, no, none of it's life-threatening anymore. Nobody's praying to help you save your life. Nobody, none of that shit's happening. Like, yeah. people are just like, oh, okay. Sit your ass down over there until for fourteen for, for days. fourteen days and come back when you're ready. Over the last like that's just what like that's just what it is. Over the last twenty years though, America has five, five days. days. Five days of what? Of quarantine. Mm-hmm. Five days now. Oh, oh hell no! 14. It's fourteen. Five. If you're in the NFL, it'll be five. Oh, that's different. No, it's not. They got okay. their own set of laws. Oh, okay. The shield. Oh. Okay. <laughs> but America has always had an arch nemesis. Or, that's a fact. Or you know. That they propel in the media. That's how they get you to. Whether it's the war on drugs. That's how they sway you a certain way. And then they put that crime bill out there and then you be like, yeah, let's do it. And then next thing you know, your uncle in jail, your dad in jail, all this type of shit. Whether it's the uh, terrorists, 
Next thing you know, you got the Patriot guy, and you like, cool, fuck it, man. Take away my rights. Yeah, that Patriot then, act is some bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Bro. Then you got uh, then you got ISIS. You know what I'm saying? They take, be they, saying something similar in, in years to come you know about what I'm this. And then they got now they got the, the result of this coronavirus. Now you got watch. COVID. Now, right, now, now they're now, gonna probably pass two different some laws things or try to pass some laws. That's going to make that, it mandatory for vaccinations and this Yeah, and, and I will say that there are some uh, systems, school systems that are already pushing it. They're saying, look, you want your school. kids to come back, Home get school. them vaccinated now. You can do that now while school's still out for... Right. Homeschool is cool. How? Get vaccinations? Yeah. You can go to any... Oh, you're not talking about... Y'all heard y'all... Did you hear... Not totally. Yeah, just make sure... Did y'all hear y'all president say we're only weeks away from a... From a from a vaccination? Yeah, I heard him say You heard him say that? Did you... Did you speak of our president? I missed it. Heard what? The president say that we're weeks away from a vaccination during the... During the debates. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I heard that. I thought I posted this John and John, but just your man... Your... Your president uh, elect or the future president of the United States possibly speaking about uh, children and their sexuality. Me, Ron, the that. idea that an eight-year-old child or a ten-year-old child decides, you know, I decided I want to be transgender. That's what I think I'd like to be. It may make my life a lot easier. There should be zero discrimination. And what's happening is too many transgender women of color are being murdered. They're being murdered. And I mean, I think it's up to now 17. Don't hold me to that number, but it's it's it's, incre- it's, it's higher now. Yeah. And that's just this year. And so I promise you, there is no reason to suggest that there should be any right denied your daughter or daughters, whichever, one or two, one, one your daughter, that your other daughter has a right to be and do. None. Zero. The idea that an eight-year-old child my man, pretty much. Well, well, that, well, well that's the that's that's the democratic way of thinking. O- Obama ushered that in, helped usher that that whole era or that's thought process in. His second term, right? I, I still think that um, sexuality is up to God. Hold on, let it God, I'm but sorry, if sorry. you decide to take it in your own hands, she's talking about eight-year-old right here. I know. I think that's too young. I think that's ridiculous. But, but no. I think that once you get maybe 16. See, maybe? What is the maybe? Well, I'm going to say once, you, once you're 16, 17, 18, mm-hmm. or I'll say when you're old enough to do the shit yourself, <laughs> okay. then, because I don't want no laws coming around talking about, well, I got to pay for the shit because I'm a parent. So. Right. <laughs> Right. So I do. I'll say I'll go with eighteen. All right. What at eighteen you can be who you want to be, but you know, that's children fine. should be exempt from that. I think that that's yeah. Not, that's not my argument. You know, that's what you want to do. What's your argument? You know, I mean, I I I'm gonna pray for you. That's what you want to do as an adult, whatever the case. But as a child, and you endorsing and saying that it's okay for a child to switch up their sexuality or they. The gender, man, that's that's just too far, man. You know, they taking that they taking the jump too far. And if you vote for Biden, man, <laughs> that's what you support, man. You support So who are you voting children. for? I, I disagree. I disagree. And I'm gonna tell you why I dis- I'm gonna tell you why so, but th- that doesn't mean that that's what you support. Like people don't vote for somebody who if you vote for someone you're not going to agree with 100% of the things that they say or do. No one is actually thinking that. Black or white, sir. Mr. Black or white. There's no, there's like, no one believes that, that right everyone should be you, the thing that makes you say, you maybe. know what? No. And that is what that is for you, and that's fine. I, I, I respect that, actually, to be honest with you. Because I don't like it either. But I'm just saying, you can't just. But if you do vote, don't manipulate that, nobody. But you got to understand what voting is, man. Voting is saying, listen, I'm going to choose you, and whatever you do, I agree with it from here on out. I'm giving you my permission. Not necessarily I agree with, but I'm giving you my permission. I'm, I'm casting my ballot. I'm rolling with you. And everything so that comes with you. Vote, or, if you do that, if you vote for him, you actually support this. Or, period. Or your vote could be like, no, I may not support that, but I super don't support that. And so, 
And just to be anti that person, I'm gonna make sure I vote. Then I'm cool I'm with like, I'm cool with children changing their sexuality. No, no just no, so I can get Donald no, Trump out no, of here. No, no, no. Let no, me oh, right. no, let me explain your thought process. I'd much rather fight this battle than this one. That 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 could be a possibility. I prefer to no fight Trump this battle and having children being able to be. I prefer to fight this battle and whatever the hell they want to be. I'm just then, saying, okay. if you identify I'm both of them as that, but that's what I'm saying. You still support that? It's not a support. It is support. It's not a support. Whatever you vote, you vote. Let, let me tell you why you vote for somebody. But you don't support be surprised it. if that's uh, right. if that's something a, a cause that they want to champion when they're talking like that during election season. See, that's the kind of shit that makes me be like. I don't want to vote for Biden. I don't want to vote. Well, I don't want to vote. Hold, yeah. Hold so that's what makes me. <laughs> that's where I'm at too. I ain't hold you, man. But <laughs> that's what makes me feel like that. Um, that's what. That's why it's like, man. That, my, the way I see it, neither one of these people are my brother. They ain't even got to be skin tone. They ain't got to be race. It's just also, it's like about said, ideas, man. Just and, neither one of these dudes are trying to be righteous in but, a, in the eyesight of the Most High. I agree. So why would I vote? Uh, <laughs> Why would I vote for somebody that's not like mine? Oh, Why would I vote? Why would I vote somebody? Why would I vote for somebody that's not like minded? But like you said, but like you said, before, who are we voting then? That's what I'm not. Like, that's what I'm not like you said before, that's that is way more up to and there's so many parents in the in in the house. The way you raise your you have way more control over that, which is why I say I much rather fight this battle. Because at least this battle, I have immediate and and one hundred percent control of over. You understand know what I'm saying? When it comes to your children, you have no right, no business, no hate, no quarrel with somebody else's children because that's not yours. They they're not yours. That's true. And but that's the thing you is, can't do nothing. About those that. laws, the laws that they make, they, they can down. they can trickle they down. Trickle down. I know I know household. someone who personally is disappointed because his uh, child came to him and said that they were homosexual. So, um, you know, if they go as far as, as to wanting to be a transgendered person, then mm -hmm. that's another issue that they would have to tackle and have to do it in the eyes of the law. So if if they are they are doing things and making decisions that will trickle down in effect. Hey, look, all hey, these things hey, trickle hey, down hey, to Hey, me. look, hey, look, man. But I don't I, see how that, how what he said trickles down like it's still basically a, a household thing no that it is still a household thing it can thing. be until it's not but when they, until when it's they, like oh well, I'm you saying, have to when would it not my, be in school and yeah until it's like and this is happening now explain this where explain we have to address deeper. in school they making it mandatory to have this type of stuff in their curriculum which is, is nothing but <laughs> advertisement. That's all it is, man. I got you. Well, I'm talking about exposing and realizing it. I'm talking about addressing it. kids it by the gender of their choice, you know. And then uh, if you if you live in these communities with a Pandora's box. It is a Pandora's hey, box. Hey, man, I think we were better off just letting them eat ice cream for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> like, all right. We shouldn't have fought that so <laughs> hard. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Have it. You want ice cream? No, no, hey, no. Hey, no. no. We, What's a homosexual? He's uh -huh. another school. <laughs> eat your ice cream, all right? Eat yeah, your ice cream. Lee, I mean, we talk about letting them make their own choices. I mean, Our parents didn't have to deal yeah. with these type of issues. This, so is, a, this is a new this is a different age animal, of man. parents. But right also, here. I think it helps. It, well, it should help. And it's, it's, it's a, we can go one way or another in terms of parents. In our community, we can either fail horribly, or it can enhance or make us that much better in terms of parents. And I really, really hope that our generation, you know, I don't gets think, it right. Yeah, I, I'm not sure I what path we're on right now. On our generation, to be honest, it is literally yeah. on our generation. Yeah. But yeah. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't have either. a whole lot of faith. I ain't gonna say that. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, it's I don't a toss-up, man. Yeah, it's a toss-up. You know it really is. A I mean, because most of the guys that I know personally, they're good fathers. That's relative. But that's relative. That's very relative. Like and he you're said, very small. because even they might, even though they might be good fathers, man, are they really out here trying to worship the Most High? You know what I'm saying? Or are they really out here trying to be righteous? That's what I'm trying to say, man. You know what I mean? Are they really out here trying to submit? Are they really out here trying to, to be righteous? To righteousness under the most high. Yeah, eyes, they so. might just be trying to. They might be good fathers per se, but they might be with some evilness on the low. They might be, and not even know it. Not even knowing it. Yeah. I don't know. Everybody's been indoctrinated into it. At the end of the day, man. Speaking of which, right? I don't know if it's maybe it's just me. 
I feel like there's a there has been an overall like generalization on men that men are whores. Oh my something. goodness! Shush, you should Hold on. <laughs> and now we gotta go down. Oh, I'll let you Go ahead. I'll let you finish. I, I want to know what you're going to say now. Go ahead. Oh, she got some, uh, trust me. I've been doing some ancestry. Anyway. Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. going to bring it up. Oh, okay. Go ahead. So, right. Right. Let him go. Just, just know this is about to be. Let him go. <laughs> you could go ahead. No, no, no. Wait, finish what you're about to say. <laughs> he said, no, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I just feel like, do y'all feel that way? Like, I feel like. Hold on, hold on. When you say men, because you know you sometimes you got to make distinctions. You mean men in general yep. or black men? Men in general. Okay. I feel like I feel like there's a clearly there's a I can't speak for that whole group, but there's a certain section of feminists that paint men as whores. What they are, and then people that aren't even feminists. It's Second just the notion. Yeah, they be like yes, and then sometimes I feel yeah. like I see it in the media where it's just like a thing where it's like, oh man, it's always. This guy that was out here with all these women and just, it's like a thing, right? But my thing is this, right? If you look at it, are men whores? Well, no, well, well first of all. Hold on. What's Aside that? from. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Think about it this way. This is how I was thinking about it. Aside from your anomalies, right? You got your guys that are famous, entertainers, athletes, right? Okay. That and gives you them got, the right? And then, hold on. Listen to and then me. you got guys that are just handsome, right? You know. That, that gives them the right? No, no. Listen. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. Right? And then you got guys that just have a bunch of money and people find out. I, I guess that would go into the famous famous part, uh, right? Fam- rich, rich and famous. I don't think anybody outside of the anomalies, regular guys... Fall in that whore category, and honestly, I think it's the anomalies that these studies and these notions are basing their arguments on, which isn't fair for the overall populace of men. Populace of <laughs> Karen, men. Karen, can you allow me before you uh, get, yeah, before you get into gonna, this? I was going to allow all of you. What's, to go. What is your definition? Let's just start. That's here. what I was going to ask. What That's is the definition of whore so we can move forward this conversation? Before let's. What, is, what are you saying, like, whore? No, I don't need the actual definition. I want to know what you mean by whore. What? Like, like women? Or? Like, is it someone who cheats, guy, I would, cheats in a relationship? I would consider a guy, or, or a guy who deals with multiple that, women? That deals with multiple women in a deceptive manner. Dirty laughing. Bingo. That's a whore. If, now, if there's no deception involved and you have multiple women and everybody knows what's going on, that's still that's that's still whoring. No, still that's like, not a whore to me. You still jolly like whore. You still jolly like whore. If no, all the women the, know when they definition. accept what's going on, that's a healthy relationship. No, it not. is. Nobody's no, upset. No, 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 it's a healthy yeah. relationship. I give what you're saying, but they still whores. Just like you might go see still a lady every night. That's my definition. Of I, 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 I got you. Might go see a lady every night, right? You already know seven other dudes probably been there today. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? You know this. Touche. You understand what I'm saying? Touche. She's a whore. If you put I'm that talking money. about, I'm not talking about a professional yeah. whore. Okay. I'm not talking well, about a professional whore. That's a professional whore. That's a professional whore. That's a professional whore. still a whore. If you out here eating But most women, men aren't professional whores. What's so, your opinion? What's your opinion on it, kid? See what I'm saying? Yeah. I see what you're saying, you but can... you still a hoe. If you... I, even if all the women in your life know, okay, yeah. You're he still whore. You still whore. Okay. You know, all right, I, I that's give fine. Next week, what's yeah. your even, okay, that's what's it. Your I still process? don't think your average guy that, that's not in the anomaly category is that. Let me, what's your opinion on it? I understand what he's saying. Like... Everybody not out here doing that. Everybody not. So you shouldn't generalize men as dogs, so to speak. I'll take it a step further. Can I take it a step further? I agree with that. Let me take it a step further. Let me take it a step further. Now, maybe this is just how my mind thought about it, and that's why I'm bringing it up with y'all, so I can get y'all's perspective on it, right? Think about it this way. In the pharmaceutical game, right? Who is all the sex drugs geared towards? Women. 
No, is men. It? It's geared Old, towards men. Old oh. men. Men. Older men. Dude, off. No. Drugs. Oh, yeah. oh, drugs. Drugs. My bad. I'm thinking. Uh, I said. I drugs. Drugs. You said toys. But who are the sex toys geared towards? Listen to me. He's talking about but pharmaceutical. Come on, man. The drugs are geared what towards. Listen to I, what I'm I saying. I said oh, okay. and I didn't hear drugs. I the drugs are geared towards men. Mm hmm. Ain't no drugs geared towards women. They are drugs geared towards What's women. What's your point? Not rip. I'm saying They're majority. Not popular. It's yeah. not. Can you can you explain your point? Because the men can't keep up with the women. Because they because they because, because so they're sleeping with multiple. Are you trying to say that the no. women let's are whores? Let's, let's go to no. Let's, because let's, they're sleeping with multiple women. Let's go to what I was about. What I was about to say. Let's go to what I was about to say. When you go to a sex toy, store, let's go to what I was about to say. Let's go to what I was about to say. Let's go to what I was about to say. Let's go to what I was about to say. Let's go to what I was about to say. Let's go what are all the toys that they get towards? Women. Women. What's your point? I'll, I'll, and, I'll, and I'm going to tell you why. why? I'm going to tell because you why. Because the man that they're sleeping with doesn't have the time to try to please them because he's trying to please four and five, six other women. No. Ooh. That's why. I don't well, think that's so. a perspective, but that's not my perspective. But I'll get to that. All right, I didn't listen to this bullshit so long ago. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Timothy when I need her? <laughs> First of all, parenting. I'm gonna tell you unequivocally, men are whores. No. <laughs> unequivocally, no. uh, well, well, okay. I mean, it could be said about both sides. I'm gonna say this to, to you. I think you are the anomaly, and I think you. I think you, and I. Think you too. Don't put me in it. You don't know about me. No, I'm saying I know. think I think thinks. you are the right. anomaly. I think you guys <laughs> prayerfully are the ones who are being faithful and the ones who aren't cheating. I think everybody else is. Hold on, cheating doesn't make you a whore. Cheating and whoring is two different things. That's no, they're true. not. Yes, they're, it is. They're, they're no, no, no. I don't agree with that. No, that's no true. whoring is unadulterated. Like no man, like this is and like. And so is cheating. Hey. Adultery. because yeah. cheating because cheat. Okay, so cheating for women is whoring. Because a lot of cheating so that happens for women is emotional. It is. It is it's think. not loinful. Is that a word? If it's not, that was great. That was I like loinful. Like, that was like gliders. Yeah. Yeah. You did like that. that. You did that. That's you a good point. You understand but, what I'm saying? That's a good point. But I still double, I'm still sticking to my point that most men are very loinful since we're using agree. that word. Agree. And that, and and that, that makes them more prone women and men to are. be Both. They all depends on where they are in their life, though. Okay. It does. So... You feel like men are more so whores than Absolutely. women. Absolutely. Overall. Whores. I don't think Let so. I don't feel like it's equal. I don't feel, like it's, I really feel, I like, don't it's feel like it's equal. It is, this what is a say? very old game, I will say that. And I'm actually, this is what Justin was hinting at. And I kind of said something to him today. Because I'm so frustrated because there were so many. Uh, I'm doing some uh, genea, genie. Ancestry. Ancestry. Yes, thank you. Ancestry. Genealogy. Some research on my family. Mm -hmm. okay. On Ancestry.com. Mm -hmm. So I bit the bullet, and it's kind of like expensive for a membership, but I was like, all right, I want to know, you know, normally I just I'll play around so. with it. Yeah. So um, there's a couple dead ends someplace, but what I, I had a small success today with my biological grandfather. Mm -hmm. This nigga was a whore. Like right. he, <laughs> he's dead. So you gonna base all men on your <laughs> grandfather? I mean, that's I'm clearly I that. <laughs> let me say, let me say, that's up. some fucking 1901 whoring. I mean, from 1901. <laughs> They've been doing it. You know the wisest man in the Bible. The wisest man in the Bible. Solomon they said was Solomon. Uh -huh. You know, you know the thing that beats Solomon. You know the thing that beats Solomon. Whore. No. 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 For real. His inability to keep himself with his woman. Yeah. And, nah, and, and have and, and, yeah, and his woman. So when y'all talk woman. about Jamal Bryant, keep in mind Solomon. Okay, that's all I'm gonna say about that. But what? Jamal Bryant. Nobody here is talking about him. People Who? talk about him. People not here. Nobody here is talking about him. Nobody here is talking about him. The viewers, they talk about him. They know who he is. Oh, okay. But oh, to your point Please, about. Solomon let me bring up nobody these, should be in the let same Let me bring up these toys. Nobody, nobody, nobody in Solomon should be in the same Let them. me bring up these toys, okay? Because oh. to address your point, where do these toys come from? They're, get, they're geared towards women now. But where they came from was men, whores, because oh, they, wow, men, uh, uh, hello, 
homosexual men introduced those toys, and now well, they come home. So what was the so you blaming the, the homosexual home? community on this? I must say, I think they would. Oh, probably, I think system. they would probably take the toy thing. I think they would, and all that. That's we stuff, did that. That Hold stuff on. is. <laughs> I think it came from you know. I don't know. I'm gonna pipe. I put that on them. No, I know homosexuals who who agree was around when it was invented. Who and agree they was like, that I made this. this. They had sex from. toys back in fucking Greece and Rome and all that shit. Homosexual whore. They are homosexuals. Out there. Well, I, I, not, not, I, not <laughs> homosexual whore. Let's work with Kier. Oh yes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Say, you proved that point. Like, yo, nigga, thank yeah, you. Yeah. That was an out of hoop like a shit. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was a free All I'm saying is, <laughs> yes, <laughs> men are whores. Can I, mean, can I, say, can I tell you something? They were whores in 1940. They were whores in 1940. In Western terms, yes, men are whores. But if you go to the East and everywhere else, men are not whores. Mm, that's a what great point. They? They men are more disciplined. They're regular in the east. Right. People yeah, are in that, general. That stuff is normalized it's in normalized the west. It's, yeah, this is it's wild, wild west it's out here. Exactly. It's less disciplined what? in general. People are more disciplined because in the, east. the thing in the east, it's acceptable to have multiple. It's women. acceptable to be R. Kelly in the east. Yes, it is. It was acceptable speak. here too. Yeah, exactly. Yes, in nineteen ten, okay. Oh, it was acceptable <laughs> here. In, Thank in you. 90, in the early nineties. Elvis. Nineteen ninety five. Elvis Presley was yeah. R. Kelly before R. Kelly was R. Kelly. That's true. That's well, true. well, oh, well, yeah, and well, speaking in our society in our time right now, I'm very surprised at both of y'all's answer. I'm. It's actually kind of confusing me. I don't understand how. No, for real. I'm like dead ass. Like I don't understand how this is not agreeable. What did I say? That was that men are traditionally and uh, for the most part whores. I, I said that. Oh, you agree? Yeah. So it's just you that disagrees. Yeah, I don't think. It's, I just said I it's think, not. I don't think there's an overwhelmingly. He's trying to put it on women. He's he's trying to explain put it that. On women. Explain. Forget the he's forget the men. Women are whores. Tell me what you. <laughs> tell me what you. <laughs> how I, just, I, I, just, I just don't think it should be generalized to all men. That's, That's the saying. point that I'm making. Which I don't think, we agree. I don't think no, all not, men. No, I agree. We agree with that. I, I don't think all men should be generalized and say, "Oh, I all agree. men are whores." I agree. But the predominant amount. I don't of think it should be 60, predominant. 60, I, I said that. I said 67. I did. I said I pray these guys are the anomaly. <laughs> I pray that these guys would, are the anomaly. I would. I, I, would, think I, so. I would definitely. I say really 60% think. Right. I really think uh, that there's a push for certain types of men, and that's what I refer to as the anomaly. To be the whores. And we get in line with this. What do you mean? So you have the entertainers, the athletes, There's and the overly handsome guys uh-huh. that are pushed to be whores. When you're a young child... Yeah, you're pushed to be a whore. Yes. Okay, what's your point? So what I'm saying is, I think that's a separate group from just... That's not your average guy. Your average guy isn't an entertainer. Your average guy isn't an athlete, an elite level athlete, All right, well, or an elite entertainer. And okay. your average guy isn't handsome. So let me tell you what the rest of those guys are doing: buying prostitutes and going to strip clubs. That's still whoring. Exactly. And and I would exactly. say I would say it, it, here's to my or praying on the weekend. Most I don't guys, think so. are I think it's a lot of guys. Or, or, most guys are with Justin. What did you just say to Jax the other day? And I was like, no, I had to check him on that because he's pimp. like, you gonna be a pimp. You gonna be a pimp? Uh uh. You cannot. He's just he's just talking though. No, but you can't tell a kid that you gonna be a pimp. Yeah, but at the same time you say that about some homosexual activity that you don't want to see. Oh, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all what that is. Think about this. I'm never gonna do that. Think about this. I'm gonna rationalize this for y'all right now. I'm gonna tell y'all how normal whoring is. You Just say it to your baby. Break it down. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm gonna I'm break it down. Depends both things, both people. things are forbidden in the Bible, right? What? Foreseeably, fornication or sex before marriage. Let me let me say that. Sex before marriage that's and really, homosexuality. That's not really forbidden in the Bible. Right? Sex before marriage. Right? No. You understand what I'm saying? Keep going. But it is seen throughout the religious world, throughout the community. In the Western world, it is seen that way. But it's Who takes that serious, realistically, as a majority? In the words of Keith Sweat? Are we going to do that again? Are we, we, are we doing that? That's in real talk. Nobody. Who takes what I'm saying, serious? this is what I'm saying. 
you have a bunch of people that subscribe to a religion, but realistically, when the get the burning, let me finish my point. They don't when care. They, when they feel the real lawful, me, it's just a thing to do. What's the word he said? When finish, they feel the real lawful, let me finish my point. That motherfucker sex before marriage ain't be like, <laughs> sorry, God, but I'm about to finish your point. <laughs> about to get these loans just taken care of. <laughs> I, I, finish I mean, your point, dog. <laughs> so I'm agreeing with you. Yeah, I know. I know. Okay. So my point is. Is that one thing seems to be forbidden while the other thing is quietly accepted? What's that? The whole the second thing. for marriage. I don't think anybody. I don't even think the gay shit is forbidden no more, though. For real. Well, for real. I don't it's think That's why people are fighting it so much. Nah, they not. They really know you mean it? People are fighting it, man. You Bruh. can't say nothing bad about no gay people no more. <laughs> Been Ain't nobody fighting nothing. Man, them, them gay people are only fools. This has been filled, fulfilled <laughs> with no goddamn chastisement. Hello. <laughs> Actually, in your pulpit, too. <laughs> Traditionally. Yes, sir. Traditionally. In, in your pulpit, in your choir, and it's been happening. Yeah. Ain't nobody been saying nothing. Yeah. So, like I said, don't nobody care about that. I'm not saying that's how I feel. I'm just saying that's the, the reality of it. So, your argument. I'm not saying you personally, but your argument has no merit because nobody cares about the Bible. Speaking of horn, I'm just saying that. Speaking of horn, <laughs> I can't. How y'all, how y'all feel about the Bible game winning his fourth title? Huh? That's good. <laughs> what? What'd she say? <laughs> LeBron James said, speaking of winning horn. his fourth title. Said, speaking of horn, how y'all? <laughs> on his third team. How y'all on feel third on his third team? Yeah. Right. How y'all feel about that? Well, what's wrong with that? It's, 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 wrong it's, it's, you it's think wrong. he should have went down with like, the team? The I feel like this team? season is weird, so it's so it doesn't so feel. It's watered to down to you. Is that what you're saying? It's definitely watered down, wow. but not not because he didn't accomplish anything special. Mm-hmm. It's just because it wasn't no nostalgia behind it, man. It's I don't. It I, wasn't I think special you, about you won't know if it's nostalgia behind it until you. Until years later, yeah. when you're like, remember we were in the pandemic and I this thing yeah, won? Yeah, but it's going to be like a fuck about who won the championship, did, yeah. Yeah, I think it's going to be like a lockout season. Did, did, some, did, 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 did they have a championship that lockout season? Yes, they, they did. Yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody, and, and nobody even <laughs> said, no one even says anything about no, it. Right? That mean, championship counts the same way. Nobody give a I agree. I think it's going to be the same with this joint. I agree. It's going to be like, all right, whatever. I, no big deal. I, mean, he I heard some though. people trying to say, oh, there should be an asterisk next to it. I'm like, ah. I mean, I don't know about an asterisk. Yeah, it's it's just a, just the it only is. asterisk is, is they took three months off and then they finished in the bubble, man. Like, it was weird. It was just weird. They didn't have crowds. They didn't have crowd. They had fucking fake ass. Oh, they had to audience. stay in the same place the, yeah. against the same with the same place that the they players were playing, like playing against. AAU. Back all Correct. over again. Yeah. Are yeah. they gonna have a draft? Yeah. yeah. In November. Hmm. Mm-hmm. They moved the draft. And back. when the, the fuck is the, the season, season supposed to start? start in January? December. Christmas. Oh, December. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, so were, it was gonna be a shortened season. They were playing with the yeah. idea of doing that. Oh, okay, that's cool. They were playing with the idea of that. So I'm so lost. We talking about basketball, We're right? We talking about basketball. Yeah. Okay. Because, you know, basketball is actually supposed to be technically starting like two weeks ago. Right. right. But the NBA, the, the traditional NBA. Something, so don't I mean it's Correct. over, yeah, it's over now. Yeah, but you know what was cool about this, though? Like, they were still playing during this part of the season where it's for sports the guys, was trash. Man. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? <laughs> so, I, I was sports. kind of it like gave me, It gave you something to look at, yeah. for sure. Yeah. For sure. For sure. For sure. I think we should take a break, guys. All right. <laughs> you don't have to talk. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't. I wasn't. That's for the sports fans. We don't have to talk. We got, we got men, men and women sports fans. I did something. Male to my and phone. female and uh, whatever you know. want. Yeah. No, seriously. Back in the building. We back out. We back. The fact that you don't keep changing your car is really kind of. I don't think that. That is weird. That's kind of weird, bro. I'm just going to keep it real. I got a change in my car that's like... You like talking about me? Dirty I haven't changed. You got dirty I, Well, it turns out I All found a, like a few pieces I mean, of like coins. Yeah, yeah, that's good. You had something. I swiped my car, and I actually don't know where that came from or how long it's been there. You saw I had lint all around it. I didn't even know it was there. I'm a card swiper. I think all of us are at this point. We have to be. Yeah. And but we now, still gotta keep change though. I just put Apple Pay on my phone. I'm really about to be cashless. Uh oh. What happens if you lose your phone? I won't. Okay. That's just that. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Um Oh, play the video. Okay. I want y'all to see this. Play. 
I am not allowed, <laughs> based on our marriage laws and uh -huh. the, the contract we signed with each other, right. to have sex with anybody else. Right. So these urges that come, mm -hmm. I have to share them with the one person <laughs> I decide to spend the rest of my life with. Right. So that, that brings me back to my, my, my soundbite. Okay. Right? I don't understand, and this is what we can discuss, as a woman, because I don't, I don't want to say it's a man versus woman thing, but a lot of women do complain, oh, my husband's always on me. Why is he always on me? Mm -hmm. If sex is going to be a chore for you that you don't really want to do, why do women constantly push monogamy on men? If you know that you don't want to have to deal with him all the time just wanting you, mm -hmm. why do you push monogamy on men? Well, who's to say I pushed anything on anyone? So that's a that's that was really the basis. I thought and that was an interesting her argument. Topic. Oh, she wanted to take it personal. She really ain't know how to answer that. I wanted to get y'all <laughs> thoughts on that. And the women, y'all can chime in too. But that's a, that's a I thought good. it was a great point. I don't feel the same way he does. That's a very good. Question. But that's a great question in terms of monogamy and sex. So, <laughs> no pressure, sex bro. for women is very, it's, it's not just physical. And I don't know if it's mm. like that for guys because I'm not a guy. But I will say that in order for a woman to have sex, you have to not only take care of the physical part, but you have to first and foremost take care of of the mental mm. and if that's not taken care of then you, even, you, then you even won't jump. even get to the physical you can't get the draws. so <laughs> in, 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 in that GTD, case the mental part, and yeah. i don't know how she responded but yeah, in that case if she's not getting if he's not getting that from his wife and that she doesn't want to be physical or is not reciprocating his attraction to her, it might be because he's not activating that physical Ooh. part of her. Well, well, hold on. I don't think it's a thing of... I'm sorry. I think she answered that perfectly. I, I think we move on. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know what else could be said, though. Listen, I don't think it's a thing of him or her not giving him what she wants or what have you. I think the question is more so about, all right, look, if you want monogamy, right, you just gave the female's perspective of it. Mm -hmm. Now we have to consider the male's perspective of it, right? Gotta because it. it's a two-way street. It's yeah, not all life. about the female, yeah. right? Happy hold wife, on. happy life, though. Hold on, hold on. Man, wife. please. No, no, anyway, hold on, hold on. Please. Yeah. happy life, happy life. Hey, hey. And there's two lives involved to make a life. Hello. So, but what I'm saying is... No. If you have a male, <laughs> if you have a guy, and you know that this guy a is a certain dog. way. Right. A dog. Like a, a horn, horn dog. <laughs> Why would you expect to be in a monogamous relationship with him and then be like, oh, he owe me too much? If you know he like that. I don't think the women in your scenario, I don't think the women who are chasing after guys who are very loinful, since we, that loinful. needs to be the episode. Loinful. The, the, loinfulness. The name of this episode. Definitely loinful. I think the women who are after those change. those men <laughs> who, I think the men. We're going to come up with the definition. To think with your loins. There you go. There you All go. about your loins. That's it. To think solely. Solely. Your <laughs> primary focus in life is no your lead loins. with a loin, leading with a thought that comes from the, the loin, loin region. <laughs> the region of loin, the loin region. Loin the with region this. Of loin loin when someone, <laughs> the act of the leading, leading with leading all thoughts <laughs> from the origins of <laughs> the, the, the loin, loin. <laughs> <laughs> the loin region. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I lost my train of thought. But basically, the women who are chasing these loinful ass, whore ass niggas. But all men are whores. But all men are loinful though. They're not. All men are. Those are not the women who are um, expecting. Like, I think they expect that. I lost my train of thought. But those, they're expecting. They're not expecting much from those men. That's my thing. With your husband, somebody who promises like vows to, in front of God and his family, mm -hmm. that's different than the scenario that you presented to me. Mm -hmm. So that's, there's a different level of expectation there. If I'm just with you because, and I know that you're a whore, and you with four and five and however many different people, mm -hmm. and you you just can't control your urges, and Wait that's why you... When did we start talking about whores marriage. with this? That's you're talking about marriage. That, 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 yeah. Like, Come on, chime in. So that's what it sounded like to me. It sounded like there was something he wasn't getting. Like 
we made a promise yeah. to each other that oh. this will happen. It sounds yeah. like she ain't keeping up with him. Well, whatever. He's loyal. Sexually, he, and she's not. She's not fulfilling his loyalty. Right, needs. right. That's right. what made it seem like. I and it, and, and when it's time, when he's feeling loyal, she like, come on, come man. On, man. Chill. Chill. Right. Man. He like, wait a minute. You asked for this monogamy thing. Right. And I'm saying it's not because she doesn't want monogamy. It's he's getting rejected because he's not doing Something mentally. Else. He's not doing. He's, he's not activating do. her. Oh, See, maybe, yeah. maybe her. I don't know if it's maybe right. I should have her. Let me just tell you something. Let me just tell you. Maybe, maybe, he, maybe he be beating that thing up too much. He's like, <laughs> like, all right, yeah. I'm ready to beat up some more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She might be like, yeah. my love is so cold. My love is so bad. I ain't getting that shit from last time. I didn't get that she needed a break. I don't think that's the issue. Or maybe he's too loyal. I mean, is there a point where you are too loyal? What it could be in your relationship get, with your wife. What didn't get uh, played is her reaction and some of her comments. Let's play a reaction. She did say that, you know, she's had three children. So that's different. Has changed so this is a husband life. and wife. Man, yeah. let's play the reaction. Because it's yes. not, y'all not getting a fair perspective. Yeah. And I don't want to defend yeah. it because then it looked like I'm, you I'm know, overly loyal. <laughs> I think do over loyal. That's what I think. Like, well, we know that you pushed monogamy on me. I pushed monogamy. I forced you to get married to me. First of all, no, no. you you getting a divorce now? Now, hold up, dog. Not say to me that you wanted to be engaged and you wanted to be married before you live with me. You I want say that? I want a billion dollars. That don't mean I'm gonna get it. I but, didn't want to. Nah, you, not. go ahead. You, you, right now, you nobody, the question. nobody pressed you to to do it. Yes, is that something I wanted? Yes, it was. But you didn't impress me. Are you gonna lie now so to the people because we talking about sex? About, you're gonna lie now to the people. She said. She said. Come here. You didn't want monogamy. Of course I did. So then why are you avoiding the question? That's not avoiding the question. I'm saying, does that mean because I wanted and I requested that that you were gonna deliver it? Like nobody pressed you for that. Tell me, you just said you wanted it and requested it. Do you not hear yourself? I can make a request. Is the request gonna be granted? Am I That's not? Up to am, you, I, bro. am I not granting you monogamy? You are granting it to so me. So this is my question. Look this at is my question. always. Look at, look, at, look at your boy. Look at your boy. This is my question. If you wanted monogamy, okay. Why would you want monogamy if monogamy if, if sex is a chore for you? That's the question. You're avoiding the question. I'm not avoiding the question, but at first you, you said me, women or, or in general me specifically are pushing monogamy on somebody. Okay, yes, that's something that I wanted. But I didn't press you for it and be like, Devout, I'm going to hold a gun to your head to propose to me. Oh. She avoided the question. Let me finish. I don't think she's avoiding what he's saying. I don't feel like I was adequately prepared for marriage. And I've said that before because if I knew that marriage and monogamy was going to involve me trying to meet you where you were at sexually for years to come, then I probably would have reevaluated if I wanted to be monogamous anyway. So that's fair, mm. but we're not even, even talking about marriage. Let's even talk about dating, right? Yeah, okay. Kidding. Two people are dating. I don't know. Something Typically bad. in society, who asks for exclusivity first, a woman or a man? A man. I Thank you. That was my whole point. So you huh? were going all over Ooh, the place. Right. Yeah. Men, okay. men, men don't men don't necessarily. Ask, I'm sorry. Traditionally, men don't ask women to marry them. No. No, because men are women, lords. Women, no, you said ex exclusive. exclusivity. That's what exclusivity is. No, it's no, not. It's not. There's, there's single and then there's married. There's only two levels. No, but if you're dating, I agree. You can be, <laughs> but in but reality, there's only two nobody levels. else yeah. agrees with that. But when you're dating, you can choose to be exclusive. Yes. When Sexually, you, when fine. You be, when you become girlfriend no, or boyfriend, that's the exclusivity well. right there. Yeah. And who be, wants to be girlfriend or boyfriend? You shouldn't be talking to nobody else either. Most of the time, it's girls that be like, all right, so what are we? Okay. What are we doing where, here? What is this going What is to? this? Where, where are we are going? We, where is this I don't want to just be sleeping with you and then woo, woo, woo. I feel like Wait I'm a minute. Right. Why are you doing your voice like that? You just said girls. Y'all want to be like, so what are we doing here? Is that what's it, y'all? Like we, we, like oh, I'm here. Cause y'all learning, right? Uh, that's what y'all do. Whatever. I, mean, I, mean, I, I, I said it. Hey. No, I understand what you're saying. He always on me. He always want to have sex. Why are we asking men for exclusivity? If we do not want to participate in sex, for, in sex at the same level as men, we have to think I about care, what right. that does to a man. I, and I don't think that right. that's... What was I right about? I don't want that to pass over. It's him. Thank you. It's him. This nigga don't want to be Clearly, married. They're not, they're, they're not at the same level as he far as sex. Be, he and doesn't want to be married. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're not at the same loin level. <laughs> but, she probably is more but what's funny, But what's funny is that yeah. a typical man would equate this and give this as a reason to cheat or step out on his marriage. 
Well, he has said that he could see. I've seen him say, Mm -hmm. I could see how a guy would step out because not I can see how somebody would cheat. I think mm-hmm. he said because it's not even about being with that person. I just want to go over there and get what I got to get, you. and then I'm back. They look like they about our age, and I'm just going to say to her, if you're one of those 26 viewers, that just give Jeez, him 10 God. more years when his shit stop working, wow. and, uh, and then he just we'll see who's talking med- about going for this man. We'll see. Yeah, right. it, 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 still it ain't here. the same. It ain't right. the same. Please listen. It is the same. Years. It's better. 10 years. The hell? Well, I don't know, uh, you but... Should, yeah, you should, y'all should venture into that little realm of glory. I hope I don't have to, but <laughs> in just, 10 years, when you that's still... Some that's, some still loin, that's, <laughs> that's some loin... That's some loin... That's some grateful loin. When you're still that's feeling... That's when your start to next, grow. No, no, <laughs> when you're that's still feeling loin, your loin natural loin 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 glow. Loin glow. Loin well, you still have your natural loyalness, and this nigga's popping pills and shit. In ten years, then the point is, look. Kira, is that it's always still going to be there, which is why they made the pills because men still want to be there, but it's always ineffective. That's what. Man, honestly, doing. that's why I pace myself. You should. I pace myself. I, I, it's years crazy. and years and years ago, I was like, "Hold on, I'm about to shit stop working <laughs> after a certain point." Maybe it's because they oh, use it too it much. Helps, man. It's the uh, maybe it's their health or what it is. But listen to what I'm saying. I was like, you know what? I don't have to be humping every day. Yeah, but that's because you elevated yourself. Man. <laughs> You're not activated from you the have normal, normal yeah. region no more. Man. Be that as it may. It's the Kundalini, like, man. It's the Kundalini. <laughs> also, <laughs> also, I think people who don't have a lot of I don't know what the Kundalini I think, I think, the Kundalini. I think, I think if you're born, right? we all got seven this Kundalini. This is the XX, triple X. No, no, that's not that's I just not think good. if you don't have anything occupying your time, your senses, or, or any of your energy in a way, you're going to resort to sex. Or, 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 or anything else we, common. We have, and that's not common. Just, have, in this case, have, she has three kids. I want to hear what she is, said, though. Her body's changed so much. It was, no, I want, it was more left. I wanted to hear her. She never back? really gave her explanation. She gave back? her explanation. Sure. She said that if she would have known, my bad. If, or she, 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 would, she, she said she wasn't prepared for marriage the way she thought she had. She got a lot. We only got halfway through. All right, go ahead. I hear that. And I don't think that that's being, the, that conversation is being had. Okay, I agree. And that part I agree with, yes. That women are typically the ones that will ask for the exclusivity. I get that, yes. But what I'm saying is, me as that's a woman, they don't want to be I don't think that I was necessarily prepared or in the mindset to know that. It's almost like once you get into it, then you're like, oh shoot, like this is what I'm going to have to keep up with. I get Us speaking as 36 year old people I know that now. Had I known that at 26, I, get that. I would have to contend with that. I Even in the dating realm, I then it might have been something I would have reevaluated. So now you wouldn't have that. You'd just been more prepared. You said to me, you never pressured me to get married. In 2007, this don't want to be what's married. What's up with this dude, bro? You said you no longer wanted to live up with me. I actually think he loved his wife. Because mm-hmm. you wanted to be my wife, not my girlfriend. Right, because I wanted to know where that the relationship was going. That don't sound like pressure going. to you? It sounds like me voicing no. where I see my wife. I know, wife. that's not pressure. It, it, it sounds, sounds like, like me saying. He viewed it as pressure. He viewed it as pressure. I feel like I did the same thing Go back, wait, stop, pause the video. I feel like I told him, What did he say? What did he say? It's been 10 years, nigga. We need to figure out what the fuck we doing. Like That's not pressure. That's not that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a conversation. conversation. Just put some pressure on him. I disagree. That's pressure. I yes. disagree. Yeah, questions can be pressure. I like we yes. we. That's what, shit, that's what most and, questions. And All right, man. We gonna have some kids. That's honest, pressure. I was okay that's with not, that's, whatever that's, the that's answer that. to that's his question that. was. It was like, ah, I don't want to do this, or yes, I do want to do this. But somebody, you need to somebody that you're in a relationship with, telling you how they feel is should not be viewed as pressure. pressure. Okay, that's that's, I'm sorry. We can sit here and do the how something should be viewed, that's but semantics. the reality is that's not semantics. That's if, it, if, you feel, if you feel it's, it's pressure, mean? that's pressure on you. But that's not her. If, if that's I'm coming the, to you and I'm saying it's pressure, because he felt something in his own, and he mean? was already guilty of it. That's no, why. So he, no, he created that, that to be the case. I guarantee it, dog. I guarantee well, each individual how you receive something. If she said, if she said, I wanted a dog, and the nigga knew he was never getting a dog, you think he would lose zero sleep over that? You know why? Because there's no pressure no. on him. What if he wanted a dog and she but said... wasn't and, ready for a dog. No, no, no. What if he wanted a dog and was ready for a dog? He just didn't have the means to get a dog. And she was like, I want a dog. So that's, that's still pressure. So guess what? 
the same way she communicated to him how she felt. He needs to now communicate this. What you just said back to her. Why does it have to be an ambiguous still, thought? It still doesn't that mean that it's not pressure. That's all I'm saying. Pressure is pressure. I don't think just that. Just because you form it as a question or a, thought or a feeling, that doesn't mean anything. So what I'm telling you. So what I'm, <laughs> hold on. So what I'm telling you is pressure is not necessarily the responsible. It's not necessarily on the person who is, what you say, applying the pressure. Pressure can be internal. Is what I'm saying. You can develop put the pressure on himself. You can you from what she said. You can have things within Agreed. that you hear, and it creates pressure in your mind. So it's not her and fault. It, 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 exactly. That's what you're saying. That's what I'm saying. All right, play. Should we say? Not necessarily pressure. Uh, uh, Let's see. Uh, uh, Who want to be married? It is, it pressure. Is, it is pressure. But you don't want to say he it's didn't pressure. want to be married what at the time and didn't want to lose her. What about there being no pressure behind it? I said. We don't got to rush to get married. You said, I don't want to be engaged longer than a year. Is that not pressure? That's pressure. That's, that's, uh, that's, that's, that's not a question. Uh, that's pressure. My opinion about oh, so if it's a question, it's not, it's, it's not uh, pressure. That's, a, that's not a question. That's she, pressure. she expressed how she felt. She did not want to be engaged longer than a year. So let me, just, that pressure? let me just tell y'all something. Let me tell you what I'm used to as a man in a, in a relationship. When a woman tells me something, the, that woman that I'm with doesn't determine whether what my level, pressure level of pressure is going to okay, be that's based fine. on my response is the thing. It's a conversation. It's a it's an open line of communication. So how is that pressure line? then? What I'm saying is because she well, he was a former, he has more control Ray, over it. Uh, thought of it was pretty much like hey, where are we going? Which is just a question. Which is why they say it's not pressure. Mm -hmm. But then when she said that. I don't want to be engaged for longer than a year. Mm -hmm. That's, That's when pressure. they was like, okay, well, but he was both like... Both of those are uh, her expressing how, what she's looking for. Expectations. Right. Those are both her expectations. I agree. No, the first one was just a question. The first one was just... Well, Based I said, on her expectations. Yeah, but then she followed up If with you don't that. have any expectations, you wouldn't ask that question. But the whole entire situation was pressure yes. because of right. the second But point. not based on the not first the, question. Not based on the first yeah. question. Yeah. The continuation of everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 When the conversation oh, went yeah, on. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, this is now pressure. The trust and believe, depending on the guy, the, the minute that she brought anything he up, knew. pressure. He already knew. That's right, all I'm right, saying. Right, 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 right. It don't even matter if yeah, it's I'm a just, question. Just she could have dropped a piece of paper and been like, oh, look, this paper says something about marriage. Yeah. Pressure. Oh well, all I'm telling you. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. All I'm saying. Like, okay, fine. The, the Why is that pressure to the average? Oh. Huh? But, but that's, <laughs> but that's <laughs> all. Women mature faster than men. No. That's that, what they say. That's also not the point. I'm just basing that off that. That's also not the point. As another man talking to another man, why are you letting pressure from your woman overwhelm your situation? You're supposed to be in control of the situation. Oh my goodness. Hey. No, like, like, that, 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 that level of pressure is nothing. You make it seem like Come on, man. this is a chore to your husband. Once again, I ask the question, why do women who push for... He ain't got my control over D-Bone. ...the question. they're dating... Then get overwhelmed with that man who tries to provide that monogamy to you. Why do you get upset when we're trying to be what you want us to be? You don't want me to be with no one else, right? Right? I'm asking. This is a serious right. question. Yes, absolutely. You don't want me to be with no one else. Absolutely. So if I decide that all this testosterone I have, I want to give to you, why is this so overwhelming now? This is what you asked for. Again. So what the fuck were you doing before? 27-year-old Kadeen. Uh -huh. was like, okay, here's the natural succession of life. You graduate, you're working, mm. you meet somebody, you guys are dating, you want children, yes. I want children. Yes. We don't want to wait too long or too late to have children, yes. though now a lot of people are waiting until their 30s to have yes. children. And I understand why. And we, mm -hmm. and we, at that time, felt like, well, we're doing everything in this natural succession that the forces that be have given uh -huh. us this timeline. However... I did not realize that after having children, after, you know, career changes, all of the turbulences that we've been through in life, that that was going to have a direct effect on my sex drive. Can I say something? Can I say something too? Yeah. I think what yeah, you said ultimately so. may be an issue for her. She just not. She, may, I said, she right. may not necessarily just be verbalizing it in a way or she doesn't even realize it. 
or she don't want to, or she doesn't want to put him out. Hurt his feelings. There, yeah. Right there, like that's, that. a, that's, that's a whole, that's said, a yeah, whole right. conversation. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah but she should have done it. Said, uh, I didn't write. She should have because he put her out there. Yeah, and she should have like, oh, you're not taking care of home. So to every woman, I don't think that's the issue. That's kind of like a red flag. Like, oh, he might not be. You're not getting the Yeah, you're not getting my loins out. Yeah, she's not taking care of home. The tissue that you desire. So she, he should. Put it out there. I mean, she should have put and it out. My there. loins aroused. Right. If they go, if they go, if they go, play be, off the red table, my loins. they need to be real with it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I guess. Be, be real with ass. it, bro. They need I to be ass. Ass. Yeah. But that was a very good question that he proposed. I, 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 I like that. I do think he was an asshole for asking his wife that. No, I think that's the basis of I the think show. That's though. the basis of the show. Oh. It's but that doesn't does not make him an asshole. But he shouldn't be judged on being so. And yeah. It sounds like he wasn't ready to be married, and then on top of that, he expected monkey sex every day. Facts. Facts. But, and but, now he's mad that she didn't give it to. Him. But the point, but that's not the point. The point, point is, most, people, most men are ready to be married. Also, let's throw I that out. That's what you're talking about. I don't think anybody is ready for this. Shit. I don't think anybody oh, is. I don't know why. I don't think anybody. On a lighter note, are y'all uh, checking y'all kids' homework? Do y'all check everything they submit? I'm just checking the notes that come home from the teacher. Please, this meme is so funny. It says, my dad, so always check your child's homework. That's just the PSA. Well, well, I used to do it. Before they handed it. This child wrote, my daddy is a hero. My daddy is a hero because he uh, he saved my mom from going to heaven. Uh, my (laughs) My mom would be dead if my daddy wouldn't have been so brave. It happened last week. I could hear my mom scream in the bedroom. Oh God, I'm coming! Oh God, I'm coming! God was so scared. I don't want my mom to die. I don't want my mom to die. Can I tell you something? I ran into my parents' bedroom. Her legs were sticking straight up in the air. God tried to pick her up, but Daddy was. <laughs> And pushed her back. He pushed so many times. Oh God, let it go. That's great. That is great. Let me tell you something. Listen. I, I would have let her turn this. I would have let my child. That was very turn that in. I was like, hey, look, that sounds great. Uh, <laughs> Hey, oh and, that's, and, that, and I was like, can you make sure that the teacher gives me a copy of this back? <laughs> wow, <laughs> that's back. great. The lady. That was written that well, I'm sorry. That, that was, was very well that written. Was, that, was a, that was a great interpretation yeah. on her behalf. That, that, was, that was creative. That was so funny. My daddy is oh, God, I'm home. coming. I didn't want mommy to go to God. <laughs> <laughs> he, stopped my, he stopped my mommy from going to heaven. Uh, I did not think that that was going that way. That was so that was perfect. Funny. Best, part of, best part of the show so far, man. Hands this, down, it's definitely in line with uh, the loyalfulness. Yeah, there's some loyalfulness going on at that moment. This, yeah, yeah okay. it's definitely. <laughs> this is a loyalful show, boy. I it is. What. I don't know what's on y'all mind today. You ain't see the loyalty. <laughs> you ain't see the video of the little girl uh, asking her mama how come they don't fix the holes in the house. She said, "What holes?" She said, "Well, why don't they just fix?" She said, yes, you don't know the song. The song goes, there's, there's some, some holes, holes in this house. house. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, I do want to shout out before we close. Before we close, it is Howard <laughs> University Sorry. Homecoming <laughs> Week. H U U. It's not canceled. It's canceled. Homecoming is canceled. Yeah. Next. No, no, no. no. <laughs> we move on. Oh. We move on. Bison, oh. you, Bison in the front. Let me see you grow. Uh, oh, that was a cheer, you Tiffany. For the <laughs> bison in the back. <laughs> Show me where is that. <laughs> bison. Bison. Go, bison. Do you love your wife? Do you love your wife? Listen. <laughs> listen. H U was undefeated. There's a virtual. There's a virtual homecoming going down right now. I've been looking at my watch because there's a virtual. Yeah. Do you hear yourself? What? You really going on about this? There's a virtual homecoming going down right now. Nobody cares. You, you know? All right, all right so that's it. Oh that's all I'm gonna say. And for the rest of you HBCUs, we love and appreciate you too. <laughs>
<laughs> we do, we do. Oh yeah, ain't nobody gonna say that about that. Yeah, this has been a great show. Uh, <laughs> I'm a little weirded out, I ain't gonna lie. Oh. I want to talk about Ice Cube. Did I do the chair? You want to talk about Ice Cube? I want to talk about Ice Cube. We might as well. Ice Cube! We want to talk about Ice Cube. Oh, they tried to the play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? They didn't try to play. Mm mm mm. Ice Cube is now de facto, a de facto leader now. Right? And he's as much like as. Jim as, like Jim mm-hmm. Brown? Like T.I., like Steve Harvey, nah, like Steve Harvey. He's going more than T.I. Jim Brown was uh, on the staff, wasn't he? Oh, oh no, not Jim Brown. Um, Ken Norton. Ken, not Ken Norton. Ken Norton Jr. Who was the guy who used to play for the uh, Eagles? Muscular oh, Barry. Oh, you talking about Michael James? No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Reggie Ken White. Spikes? Reggie White. No, no, no. I think it is Ken Norton. He was oh, like the he was like the uh, the athletic guy that that Trump hired. Oh, Trump. Oh, you talking about Herschel Walker? Herschel Walker. He's like the new Herschel Walker. No. What did Ice Cube do? Did he play for the Eagles? No, he played for uh, the Cowboys. Cowboys. And the, uh, Herschel Walker? And the Vikings. Yeah. Oh, who played for the Eagles then? Nobody. Ken Norton, they played for the Eagles? Who the Ken fuck is Ken Norton? Ken Norton. Who is Ken Norton? He, he was a body joint too, right? His father was a boxer. Right. Ken Norton Jr. played. He was a football player. Football. Who did he He's play a, for? He played for the 49ers. The Niners. He never played for the Eagles? I don't no, so. I don't think so. I feel like it was a muscular nigga like that that played Shaquille for the Eagles. Spikes. That's what you're thinking about. No, before him. Back in them days. I don't know. Who Back in them Ken Norton Brandon days. Reggie White. Brandon Cunningham played for them. Uh, Brian Charlie Dawkins? Gardner. Brian Dawkins. Brian Dawkins. That's the nigga he talking about. No, no. I'm t- before Brian Dawkins. Uh, I'm talking them Ken Norton days. Nigga, Ken Norton days. Old school same, same nigga. Same time as Brian Dawkins, right? A little bit. Yeah. They, yeah like, Brian yeah. Dawkins was like new. He was young. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Right? Brian Dawkins ain't make a name for himself until after. Right, 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 right. I'm talking about back in the Ken Norton days. I don't know who you talking I don't know about. Who the fuck you talking about, dog? Who was the nigga that you named? Herschel Walker. Herschel Walker. He never played for the Eagles? Nah. nah. Never. Never. Nah. I'm getting him mixed up with somebody else. Must be. Nah. No, that's not for the Eagles. I'm just saying, like the, the muscular nigga. It was a nigga that was so muscular. No, that's so funny. Type All nigga. I think of is the kill spikes when he says. Yeah, you keep saying that because yeah, this yeah, nigga's neck is like this, dog. Yeah, this nigga. nigga. Great pause. Yo, <laughs> hey, hey, hold on, dog. Pull up a picture of Tequila Spikes, dog. Let somebody do that, dog. Nope. Oh, he did play for the Eagles. Thank you. I ain't retarded, man. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. Man, we sound dumb on camera, though. I want y'all to acknowledge that right uh, now. I'm, I'm so embarrassed. I'm, embarrassed. I'm so too. embarrassed, though. I didn't know he played for the Giants. I did not know that. I didn't know he played for the Giants, but I knew he played for the Eagles, man. I ain't yeah. crazy. Yeah. Hold right, on. What was your Louis point, though? Play, you know. But nah, but uh, Ice Cube, he's doing more than Herschel Walker. What's he doing? He's pretty much, he has a contract with Black America where he's trying to get things done specifically. Hold on, for dog. black Americans, a de- uh, was a descendants <laughs> of slaves, Adolfs. He's trying to he's trying to get reparations. He's trying to get something. I think one of the things was discussed was um, American descendants of slaves. Yeah, he's um, Is one that of what things, he's doing? No. Oh, okay. but he that's who he is, that's who his primary focus is on. African American descendants of slaves. So he's talking about getting billions of dollars, like five hundred billion, put towards black businesses. <laughs> Things of that nature. Just a bunch of little, you know, miscellaneous things mm-hmm. that I don't think is any any president has ever yeah. done anything towards us specifically. We'll which see which, what which comes Trump prides himself on doing. Right. He prides himself. That's his own. Nobody yeah. has ever done this. So I've done yeah, the most I'd for have done anybody. More right. for you. You guys right. are forty-seven months. Than anybody, done. which is probably In forty-seven true. years. Yeah. He just yeah. he just has they they mask it. I think um, I don't know who I'm voting for. I'm hold just on. Said, you, hold you on, be flip flopping a lot. I am, here. and that's because I, I mean, and when I think is, when is, I think of things that he's done for black people, and then it's like, well, how can you not support that? You know. Well, everybody who don't support Trump is based off our of emotions. Just like P. Diddy, he was a dick. I think people don't like the Diddy, racism. I don't that like his. I don't like the fact that he flirts with racists. It's emotions, though. No. Is he a racist not. or does he just flirt with racists? I, I don't like that. That's What's not. A, that's not it. I don't. I mean, you gotta. You, you I don't gotta like that he entertains everybody. the racists. I don't like that, and oh, I feel like, like racists have been. Racist. Oh, yeah, they've been yeah. emboldened by his like, election. Yeah. He doesn't shoot them down. Why should he? He would not condemn. He don't condemn. I hate that. even saying that, but you guys all saw what he did on the. Uh, like I don't. I mean, I don't. I'm saying name a group. Man, you know? So you rather him fake it? He ain't faking it though. He's not even faking it. He's literally just not saying anything. He's just. But what I'm yeah. saying is, all these other presidents that you think made 
They're not just, fool with racists? They yeah, do. They do, yeah. So they just faking it to everybody. I mean, I'm not going to be dumb as some 70 year old white man. Okay. He I disagree. I don't think that every last person, every, every last white person out here is a racist. I don't think. I don't. I've never said that. Yeah. Okay, but what you're saying is if you don't say it or you do, I still think you're a racist. I didn't say That's that. That's exactly what you just said. No, you rather just fake it? Well, listen, let me tell you what I'm okay, saying. Go ahead. I'm saying that this system that we're participating in mm-hmm. yes. is a racist system based systems yes, it is. and the presidents that have come up in that system mm-hmm. and have been propped up to be the president mm-hmm. yes. are de facto members of that racist of that institution yeah. now is the time to denounce that he didn't do it and everything you said was a fact everything I disagree with that that's my point but what i'm saying is the, now the is guys the that you may have supported in the past that didn't necessarily denounce it they supported the racist system which makes them Cool with racists. I'm gonna put it to you like that's this, the man. point that I'm making. I'm gonna put it to you like this. Even though they just didn't even though broadcast Biden, it, they hid it. Even though so, but again, would you rather him hide it from you or be upfront and say, "Look, I don't have any issue with them people, but I don't have any issue with these people either." That's all he's saying. And here's exactly why. That's I'm, not what he's saying. This is exactly <laughs> what he has. He has overtly <laughs> expressed issues with people of color. People of of non American descent pointing them out. For for do you want do are we doing this? Yeah, is the show gonna go on longer than it's supposed no, to for us to do this? This is exactly why I'm ready for election season to be over because I am tired of going back in, in circles. Because Biden about might sit up and say thing. I denounce white supremacy. Well, you have pictures of Biden. Biden is pictures with pictures with Klan niggas. The Ku Klux Klan, bro. Literally in pictures. Come on, pictures. So you would rather vote for him? But that's not hiding. Oh, no, but he denounced it. Hiding. He like, oh, I, I. So he is hiding it. He's that's hiding it. it. He was a much better politician. Like, look, yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't like Kiara though. Yeah. So you're saying people aren't allowed to change their mind or change their path? I ain't saying nothing. I ain't saying nothing else. Right. People are. I'm just saying the likelihood of being Because I clearly raised. see where this is going. Yeah. I ain't going there. Yeah, because you can't defend it. The same logic, you got to use it all the way across it's the board. I you don't can't do stop, You can't stop it here. This is a great show. I Thank you guys stupid. for joining Whatever you do, don't get on. Look, before hey. you go to bed tonight, thing, Google I'm, Tequila Spike's neck. Uh-huh. Google uh-huh. that mama uh-huh. neck, dog. Matter of fact, as soon as you put up Tequila Spike's neck, Net gonna come up. But I make guarantee. sure you take care of your loyalness before that. Yes. Because you don't want to get before that you go to bed, in. <laughs> Why are you on the internet also, taking care of your loyalness? I wanted to Google add, that first. The nigga Diddy was one of the main niggas talking about hold, hold We're hold, closing hold, hostage, out. Hostage. Mm-hmm. And then yesterday or the other day, he like, you gotta we got to get Trump out of here. So Diddy said, hold your vote hostage. Yeah, and then now all of a sudden, he like, we got to get Trump out of here. I don't think anybody's listening to Diddy. You think people like, can't change? He, he I don't think anyone's really listening good. to Diddy like, oh, Diddy said to hold my vote. Ain't nobody like, no that. one. Vote or die. He was one of the leading yes, he was. guys with that. He didn't do that. Wasn't Diddy the same fellow who had Christopher Williams uh, give him a fellatio just what, to get know his own? That's what Jaguar that's White said. Is that who we, is that what we, is that's that's that what, what we trusting? That's it's been a great show. That's what Jaguar White said. He was exercising his loyalty. He was exercising his loyalty. He was a loyalty. He came in that joke talking about, don't wake me. I love you, man. Like and subscribe, love you, bro. Y'all I love you, bro. Like and subscribe. <laughs> That's my guy, though. Chris Williams is my guy, man.